Once the preparation of a specimen is completed, turn off vacuum mode, which was on until then, and open the chamber door. Next, place the specimen on the stage. Remember to beware of the height of the specimen. Close the chamber door after measuring the accurate height of the specimen on the stub and maintain the vacuum state using the vacuum on off button. If the vacuum condition cannot be maintained or in case the rotary pump or diaphragm pump make strange noises, check if the chamber door is properly closed. You can check the current vacuum state with the vacuum bar on the monitor. Once a 100% vacuum is attained, the vacuum bar will disappear, indicating that the equipment is ready for operation. Set the sample height by entering the height of the specimen before turning on the E-gun. Then, move the Z-axis as needed to reach the height you want. You can use this function more safely by checking how much closer the stage gets using CCD while adjusting the height. help you find the specimen easily by sending the stage to the center of the chamber. This movement can also be checked with CCD. Now it's time to turn on the E-gun and check the specimen. Use the E-Gun button next to the Vacuum On-Off button to turn on the E-Gun. Once the E-Gun is turned on, the filament value will gradually increase and you can see the images on the monitor when the value reaches 100%. If the monitor is too bright or dark, you can find the appropriate brightness by adjusting the contrast left or right. enter reduce mode, you can quickly check how the image is changing so as to find the desired brightness. Aside from the adjustment of brightness, reduce mode can also be used to find the desired images by adjusting conditions such as focus or state. In order to find the desired specimen or conditions, please proceed with the following steps. It would be easier for you to find the location of a specimen at magnification if you lower the magnification to 200 or even down to 100. Once the magnification is lowered, double click the image you want to find and move it to the desired location. It is recommended to use reduce mode or fast mode to look at the entire image on the screen when tracking down a specimen. After finding the location you want, focus the lens on the specimen using the focus function. The focus level can be adjusted by using coarse focus on the top or fine focus at the bottom. As you can tell from their names, coarse focus and fine focus differ in the amount of change made even though they basically have the same function. Obtain an appropriate focus of the specimen using coarse focus, 
and then change the mode to Find Focus to find a precise focus. focus level can be adjusted with the mouse wheel. At 1000 magnification or lower, the change in fine focus is insignificant, possibly making the adjustment in fine focus mode meaningless. You will begin to see some meaningful changes at 2000 magnification and at 10,000 magnification or higher, where the adjustment to fine focus mode is essential. After the adjustment to find focus mode is completed, you need to adjust the STIG using the STIG button next to focus. The STIG feature is used to make the shape of the beam from above circular. When the beam takes the most circular shape, you can get the clearest image. These changes are not easily recognized at a lower magnification, but they become more noticeable as the magnification gets higher. Once the STIG adjustment is finished, focus the lens on the specimen using fine focus as the final step. For your information, the focus and STIG levels adjusted at a higher magnification remain accurate at a lower magnification. For example, when you want to take pictures at 10,000, 5,000, or 1,000 magnification, adjust the focus and STIG at 15,000 magnification or a higher magnification than 10,000 magnification and then take pictures at 10,000, 5,000 or 1,000 magnification. Now let me tell you how to adjust the level of brightness in pictures. You can adjust brightness using the brightness feature on the monitor. If you use the contrast feature, you can achieve the same brightness for both the background and the specimen. Lastly, gamma is used to increase the contrast between black and white. There are no definite answers to how much these three conditions need to be adjusted. The adjustment can be made according to the preference of an operator or a reporter. Lastly, after scanning the pictures you want, you can take pictures using slow mode or photo mode. These two modes are different in the resolution of the resulting images and imaging speed. Slow mode is recommended for simply checking the images and photo mode is recommended for taking pictures to be submitted. For more details, such as picture sizes, please refer to the operating manual.
picture taking is completed, you can save the pictures using the image button. The applicable images are displayed in order at the bottom of the monitor and are saved by clicking the image button in the shape of a folder. The entire process of taking pictures has now been explained from the beginning to the end. For more details that have not been explained in full in this video, please refer to the operating manual which provides more detailed explanations and data comparison by conditions. Thank you.